guys, this is Kim. I'm going to show you how to make rice bags if you're not a sewer, don't have a sewing machine, um, the fast way with um, two-sided iron-on fusible tape. Looks like this. Um, this is heavy duty, which I recommend, but I usually cut this in half if I'm making single ones so they're skinnier, but I'm going to show you how to kind of get around that today. So um, I'm going to make a bunch at one time and we'll we'll see how this goes okay so what I have is um, a sheet of fabric I just got at the fabric store it's about four inches wide it's just a long strip so I'm going to use this and as you can see right here what I've done is I have a um, piece already laid out here for you and I've used this fusible tape, and I ran it all along the side. I folded this in half first. So on this half, all along the side, the top, all along the bottom, and then about every two or three inches down this way. Okay? You want to make sure it's at the edge of your fabric, and the pretty side of the fabric is facing down on the ironing board. Now I'm going to bring the other half over, and you can only see part of this. Um, and I'm going to lay it gently across the top of those and I have a little bit of pucker here but that shouldn't be any big giant problem I don't know if you can see it that well but that's basically what we're dealing with here now the secret to this is we need to leave these little top portions open you don't want to iron here okay do not want to iron right here so we're going to start with the bottom okay Make sure I've got it all tucked in here. And you're going to press the iron for 10 to 15 seconds. I'm going to go a little faster um, just for this. But you're going to just hold it for 10 to 15 seconds, okay? Again, I'm going faster just for the demonstration. Right? And we want to do this along the bottom, each little segment of the bottom. Then you want to come all the way up to the top within a half an inch or a little more. You don't want to get that sticky tape on the top. You do not, because we're going to put our rice in there. Okay, and again, you'll be holding it 10 to 15 seconds. Now, this takes a little uh, practice, but I'm going to tack just the corner and see where this is coming out here again. Right where the other vertical strip goes. Really good, right there at the top. And I may have you may have to open it to see. The next vertical strip is right here. For me, let's see if you can see that right there. Okay, and I'm just going to tack the top of it. Okay, I do want it to go all the way down, but it's real important that you get all of the top. That's just no more than an, an inch. Then I'm going to go over here and find my next one. Make sure it's tacked down. And then I'm going to drag it down the side. Because I'm trying to make little pillowcases is what they look like. Okay. So we'll go down here. I'll make sure I get all of this right at the top. I'm leaving that space to pour my rice in. Okay. Really seal that up. And then I'll get my last one over here somewhere. All right. Once you've done that, and again, you're going to hold this 10 to 15 seconds in each spot. Um, I'm just trying to do this quickly. Then you've got, see how I'm going down all of these. I don't know if you can see this. Terrible with this camera thing. I'm sorry. I'm going down just these spots. Just these spots. Leaving that opening at the top, but making sure everything's sealed in the middle. All right. Now what you're going to do, you have all these little pockets here. Um, see how that is a pocket right there? Okay, you just made a whole bunch of them in a strip. That's what you did. I'm going to cut them right down the middle, and I'm going to need to look at the top right here to make sure I'm in the right place. Okay. I'm a real good guess is what I'm doing here. Okay. I'm going to do another one, and then I'm not going to do the rest of these so I can show you how to fill the bags. Okay. okay. One more. Right here. I feel I feel the top. I feel that, sit, that down the middle, so I'm going to cut right there. Okay, not pretty, not perfect, but I do have these. And now I'm going to fill it with uh, rice. I can get it open. Okay. 
and I have sealed the top of this one, but see, it will pull open if you make that mistake. Okay, so I have my rice. I'm just going to dump it in there. Make a big mess over here out of sight where you can't see me. Filling up this rice bag. Not uh, for the OCD meat people. All right. So now you can see that I've got this filled about halfway. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to put sticky tape, the sticky tape right in the top. But this is going to be, I'm going to cut it in half so it's thinner. Okay. And I'm going to put it right in here and iron it down. And if this video cuts off, that's it. That's all you need. You might want to trim up the sides a little bit, but go back over it and make sure all these seams, you re-iron them and hold it and hold it and hold it. You don't want your um, jam customers having a rice bag that explodes or comes apart on them. That would not be um, a good thing at all. So let's see. We got this done here. Sometimes it's a little thick. We'll get that last little bit in there. And again, you're going to hold this and press it for 10 to 15 seconds to make sure it seals. I'll go back and seal mine. There you go. By doing it that way, see this edge I took a little big, so I probably have one that um, I don't have enough sticky on the side. But you're just going to just going to trim them up. And there you go. That's it. Now I have all of these on this strip that I ironed that I'm just going to cut down in between the little pockets here. And again, this one's sealed because it got the heat of the iron was next to it, but they come apart pretty easy um, if because I didn't intend to seal it. So there you go. See, this one needs to be opened up a little bit for me to get that rice in there. There you go. I'm just going to cut down here on the sealed sides and go. How was that for fast?